What's up, guys? Welcome to the Being Beautifully Honest podcast and channel. Thanks for being here, being subbed. If you're not, hit the button. And if you're listening on YouTube, hit the like. It's like walking in the room and hitting that light switch. Let's brighten up the place and get into the real of reality TV. Well, Nini had a little bit of time, so she wanted to come out and share some info that she felt like the world needed to know about Portia. Now, Nini is talking about a possible opportunity that she had to appear in a show on Netflix called The Upshaws. It's a show that stars Wanda Sykes, Mike Epps, and Kim Fields. I've watched the show. Actually, I actually like the show. It is pretty funny. Um, But hearing this is like, oh, Lord, here we go. But let's just go ahead and get into this clip of what Nini had to say. A disappointing video, but nonetheless, here goes. So earlier this week, I was told by my management company that um, the Netflix scripted series called The Upshaws were interested in casting me for a part. Uh, In Upshaws, it's Mike Epps and Wanda Sykes. um, Directing this particular episode is Kim Fields. Um, I was excited to do it. It's a comedy. I love comedy. I used to have a comedy show out on the road. Some of you guys know. So comedy is something that I love to do and, and was really happy to do it. Uh, as the talks went on, we agreed upon whatever we agreed upon. Um, I was fly out to, I was to fly out to LA on Tuesday. Uh, they told me that Portia William Gubadia was also playing in this particular series. She would be side by side with me. Excited. I haven't seen Portia. Uh, we always have a good laugh when we see each other. So I was just like, okay, so me and Portia are going to kill this part. I get to um, uh, LA on Tuesday. They tell me to go straight to, you know, to the studios. I need to go into wardrobe. Uh, once I got into wardrobe, um, I chosen to wear like this silver color. Uh, they showed me a picture of Portia. They said the Portia's wearing something similar in color, and uh, maybe I would choose something else because we were gonna be, you know, side by side doing this scene. No problem. Um, I gave them a whole different look. Um, they told me we were gonna be having rehearsal. Um, at rehearsal, I didn't see Portia. There was a stand-in. Uh, we broke for lunch. We came back. We were going to do a whole run-through. I still didn't see Portia. Uh, I'm just waiting to see Portia, right? I'm excited to see Portia. I'm like, well, I want to, you know, wait that Portia on set. So me and her can chop it up. So Portia never came. Uh, we wrapped for the evening. I went back to my hotel. When I got to my hotel, production called me and asked me if I had any issues with any housewives because they were going to be casting, recasting the other position. And I was like, oh my God, no, like what? And um, they were going to recast the position that Portia was playing. I was like, what, why? And they said, do you have any issues with Kim Zosiak, Cynthia Bailey, Marlo Hampton? And I was like, no, like I just saw Kim recently and we talked. Um, I saw, I, I talked to Cynthia Bailey often. I talked to Marlo Hampton often. Um, no, like they ultimately cast Cynthia Bailey and she was flown out to LA on Wednesday. We did the uh, part together. Um, I was later told that Portia did not show up to work and had said that she did not want to work with me, that we had had uh, issues from the past and she did not want to work with me. Let me take that in for a second. Listen, I am more than disappointed. Portia and I have double dated a few times, okay? Um, Okay. Simon had a birthday. We were all in Miami together. We hung out for the whole weekend to celebrate Simon's birthday. We all decided one weekend to go to Vegas to see Usher. We all went to Vegas to see Usher, couples. Um, I was in Dubai, Portia and Simon were in Dubai. We all hung out, 
Uh, Yanni and I have gone to Simon and Portia's home to have, to hang out, party, drink. My son came over, brought hookahs. We ate African food, had a great time. Of course, Portia had a wedding and I'm at her wedding. Um, I've seen Portia in Atlanta out. We've laughed and talked. I am shocked that Portia would go to a production company. I am here that Portia would go to a production company and say that she doesn't want to work with me because we've had a lot of issues in the past. What lots of issues that we had in the past. Mind you guys, I haven't been a housewife in over four and a half years, okay? Besides that, as black women, okay, when you call a black woman angry, difficult, we've got problems, I can't work with them on set, that is a death trap for a black woman in the industry. We don't have any issues that we can't work together. We are professionals. We get on set and we work together and do what we got to be with me. It would have been with Kenya. It would have been with Candy. Those were your major issues. We've had petty things. We're on a reality show. So we obviously are going to have some sort of issues, but we've not had anything where we could not work together. I'm sad and disappointed that Portia would go to any company and say that she's had issues with me and we cannot work together. That is a lie. I text her. So it's not like I'm doing this video. I didn't text her. I text her and she sent me a text back saying that she's going through her divorce and I didn't reach out to little sis. Are you serious? You and your husband were just happy and smiling in Dubai. I thought you guys were having a fight and maybe you guys are going to get back together. I don't know what y'all personal business are. I don't want to be nosy, okay? I don't want to invade your privacy. Maybe you need some time. I don't know what you need. I was happy to see her and talk to her and chop it up then. I don't want to pry. Yes, Yanni and Simon are hanging out together, but that has nothing to do with me. I'm not hanging out with Simon. Yanni's hanging out with Simon. I can't change this relationship with that man. I wouldn't let him change my relationship with Portia. It's disappointing. It's very disappointing that you would do that. It's very disappointing. And people need to stop. They need to stop doing that. That's not right. All right. There you have it. So... I have to agree with Nini. And I know some people feel like I don't like Nini. I've never disliked Nini. I may not have liked some of her ways and the accountability factor and, you know, stuff like that. But this isn't about that because right is right and wrong is wrong. And Portia could have reached out to Nini and she could have done things differently if they were supposed to be friends or like Portia tried to say little sis and big sis. If you felt like Nini was that much of a sister to you, then why would you do something like that? And I I felt Nini on that. Well, what was I supposed to do? Because me and you were just hanging out in Dubai with your husband and my significant other, and y'all were happy and smiling. So how was I supposed to know <laughs> that you were going to be getting a divorce the next day. Like, seriously. And then to say she didn't reach out to her during her divorce. You didn't reach out to little sis. She was like, what the heck are you talking about? And that's just that's just crazy. But I'm I'm glad to hear because it sounds like Portia was replaced and not Nini. That would make more sense to me because to be honest with you, I don't know what type of role this calls for. I guess... They wanted to have a real housewives flavor for the two people that were going to be cast on the show. So honestly, it would make more sense to me to have Nini and Cynthia versus Portia. I mean, seriously, because I even question this NBC Universal deal. Like why out of all of the housewives of Atlanta would they offer this opportunity to Portia? What has she ever done that was remotely scripted honestly like seriously like why would they trust her to have any type of role in having scripted content produced for NBC Universal 
Like, who else was she sleeping with? <laughs> and I'm joking, but kind of serious. Like, what could she have done seriously to even get an opportunity like that? But clearly Nene was hot. She said, I, I did text Portia, so it's not like I'm just bringing this to social media. She felt heated. This is the times that we're in where people bring you know, they bring, they bring stuff like this to social media. So some people may say, well, this was none of our business, but she shared it with us. So now we know about it. Portia is like that. I believe she is one of those people that even with years ago, I did believe that Nini, even though she didn't say the words, Portia should be fired. I do believe that she was, she did it with other people. So Portia wasn't the only one. She was on board for some people to be fired from the Real Housewives of Atlanta. And Portia was upset with her about that. But she did the same thing with Cynthia. And Cynthia was upset about it too. But they've moved on and gotten over it. So the fact that Portia would tell the production company that, you know, they had issues in the past. Maybe you did have issues in the past and maybe that wasn't a lie. But... How could you all be hanging out in the present (laughs) and then you want to use a past to say why you don't want to work with this woman? That's crazy to me. Portia is, she's just not a good person. I I know a lot of people, they just, they really give her the past because of her outer, her exterior. It's superficial. The inside is trash. And I believe everything that Nini said. I don't believe that she had anything that she spoke about that was a lie in that situation. And I do believe that she expressed that out of hurt and to reveal the type of person that they're bringing back onto the Real Housewives of Atlanta. I'm sure they don't really care. But I don't believe that her coming back to the Real Housewives of Atlanta is going to be all that people think is going to be cracked up to be. Portia is just not all of that. And I know that's an old saying, <laughs> but seriously, if she's just not. Just because of the outer exterior, people believe that she's more than what she really is. And she's just not. So I'm disappointed in that too. And clearly Nini was hurt by that. But listen, guys, just let me know what you think about all of this in the comment section. I wish Nene and Cynthia the best with the opportunity of being on the Upshaws. You know, she said she's been blackballed for years. So I know that after getting an opportunity like this to hear the person that she felt like was a friend and little sis would be out here trying to sabotage her is absolutely crazy. But I don't put anything past people these days, because especially when it comes to that industry, People can be very finicky and flip floppy because when they're just thinking about themselves, they're not going to consider anyone else. So thanks so much for being here, guys. Thanks for liking and subscribing. I'm Beth, just being beautifully honest. So until next time, wanted to keep it brief, beautiful, and now I'm going to say bye. 